Hello everyone. This is our rainbow episode. I've been wanting to do this for a very long time. We've finally done it. Um, I just wanted to say up at the top, I've played the same clip twice in this episode. I've done it on purpose. I've done it because I really, really enjoy this sound clip more than any other sound clip that exists. So I hope you enjoy that. I also want to clear up a mistake that I made in this episode. I said that Jane from Rod, Jane and Freddy married Jeffrey shortly after Jeffrey joined the band. That's not true. I misspoke. She married Freddy shortly after Freddy joined the band. Jane from Rod, Jane and Freddy was never married to Jeffrey Hayes, as far as I know. Okay, with that in mind, um, please enjoy the episode. The Be thing vocal. is, Laura, you're you're hands down one of the most intelligent people I know, but you you do lack the common sense to not wallpaper <laughs> over a door. Everybody. Welcome back to Thoughts TV. I'm Hello. Elsie. I'm Meg. I'm Laura. Hi, Laura. Hello. <laughs> How are you feeling so far? Truthfully frustrated. <laughs> uh, have you been made to feel welcome? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> you, I I've would been... say that one thing about our flat is that it's not welcoming in nature. <laughs> it's so. a hostile environment. Yeah. I've been like threatened. Theresa May's government. I've been threatened with this invitation three times in ten <laughs> well, minutes. <laughs> How have we been since our break? Yes, yeah. so I went on holiday, then Elsie went on holiday. Ships in the night. Ships in the night. So I only saw I saw Elsie for the first time in two weeks on Monday. Yeah, that's right. We went for a Monday pub session. A Monday pub sesh. To talk about rent. <laughs> to talk about rent. <laughs> um, which is why doing an episode of the podcast is a welcome break, because that is essentially all we've talked about for the last three or four weeks. Rent. Yeah. It's not a nice place to be our house at the moment. <laughs> Hostile. <laughs> it's good to be back. It is. It's good to be back, isn't it? Um, we've we've had a break and now we're coming back with something different. So we've been doing stuff from like the 90s and 2000s. I think the latest one we did was Sadie J, which ended in 2013. Yeah. So we've wanted to do Rainbow for a long time it's not in keeping with the brand of the podcast but isn't um, it i don't know because the thing is right our name <clears throat> is based on tots tv which is tapped <laughs> and i think rainbow <laughs> is in keeping with that oh that it's insane it's insane it's an insane tv show <laughs> Above the streets and houses, rainbow climbing high. Everyone can see it smiling over the sky. Paint the whole world with the rainbow. Well, I don't really know who this episode is for, right? Because... My mum and dad. My mum and dad too. Probably my dad. Question mark, question mark. Ask your mum. <laughs> <laughs> hey mum, have you heard of... Oh, we haven't speak, spoken in ages. Have you well, heard of that? That's why it was a funny, funny joke. Yeah. <laughs> so, people our age haven't really seen this show. Me and Meg have. Yeah, but... to be clear, I had no knowledge of this show before these two. Which is going to be very interesting because this is fresh, fresh eyes on Rainbow. Yeah. I think I watched... from. Is, is Magic Roundabout from the 70s? Uh, it's yeah. around the same time. That's Don't... the only I off top of my head. That's the only one from like the seventies I ever watched. So I'm not sure who this episode's for because the people that know Rainbow <laughs> probably know what we're going to talk about, and the people that are actually our listeners won't have seen it or might have seen. It. Everyone's seen like Zippy merch. Yeah. Yeah. So if you Google Rainbow and you don't. If you don't know off the top of your head what it is and you Google it, you will recognise at the very least Zippy. I also think there's other characters and other things that have been based on Zippy a bit because he doesn't look dissimilar from other... He doesn't look similar, similar from the little engine monsters and the yeah. noobs. Yeah, that's oh, exactly yeah. what I was thinking of, yeah. 
it just finished. <laughs> so I guess what what I'll do, I guess, is talk through the timeline of Rainbow because it went through many different reincarnations, but the most famous version of it lasted for about 15 years. Whoa. Yes. So it was from 1972 to 1996. It, so what it was ran it, for ages. What was it on? It was on ITV. Okay. Um, it was a production company called Thames TV. Oh, okay. Which, yeah. you know, is actually, yeah, I don't yeah. expect you to know what that is, but it's... Well, I just, I'm basic. I'm guessing like London or River Valley Studio. <laughs> sure, yeah. yeah. Um, so basically the UK wanted its own Sesame Street. <laughs> and <laughs> let me just so sesame street was created by the legend that is jim henson it was made rest is, make god get rest his peace yes and soul. <laughs> his peace and his soul may god protect his peace have you ever had a dream <laughs> <laughs> where you but uh, <laughs> i'm sorry it's okay <laughs> so very very talented people groundbreaking tv show made for um inner city black kids who weren't getting um education from school that's yeah that's what I, sesame I, yeah, street I, was I didn't know that. yeah so it was an educational like one of the first educational shows for kids that weren't necessarily like in mainstream education or whatever was it, was it pbs I believe it was PBS. Yeah, yeah. so it's free viewing. Yeah, public well. broadcast yeah, yeah, yeah. service. Yeah. yeah. And we wanted our own version of that. <laughs> <Knowing> so badly. <laughs> knowing what you know about Rainbow, <laughs> we failed so hard. So yeah, uh, John Leeson um, played a character called Rainbow, who later became Bungle, the bear. Uh... Right? I didn't know this until today. <laughs> really okay yeah so uh it was presented by david cook and that was for a year yeah so what you had was david cook bungle the bear and zippy so zippy would occasionally pop through the window to provide like humorous commentary and you should always listen to men who just <laughs> talk to you through the window <laughs> oh my god the other day in the pub we were accosted by some man with his opinions on film <laughs> can i just say uh, I, I don't want to talk for too long about this because i don't want to give him that much airtime. but he told us that he thought succession was shit and then admitted that he'd watched all of it twice like, i'm not going to believe that you think it's shit if you've watched if you've watched more of it than elsie who loves it <laughs> i've watched most of it once hello David, David, come and see what I've done. Come and look at this. Oh, that's very good. How did you do that? Well, I got this plate. Yeah. And I put it on the paper like this. Mm -hmm. And then I drew round it with my crayon, like this. Oh, that's a good idea. Can you do that? What shape is it, Bungle? Plate shape. <laughs> yes, but what shape is the plate? <laughs> is it a circle? Yes, it's a circle. Ah. The plate is round, so you've drawn a circle. Oh. Zippy's in the rainbow. <laughs> in the rain. In the rain. In the window. In the rainbow. He's in the window. <laughs> in the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> and each episode is about some sort of educational subject, like shapes or colours or sounds or smells or dreams or I. I don't know. So you, you, you sent know. me none of those episodes. None of the episodes no, you sent no, me. No, this is the early. This oh, was okay, very okay, very okay. early. So the most famous version of the show came after this. Mm. So. Jeffrey Hayes was the presenter for the vast majority of its um, time. And they renamed Rainbow to Bungle and they changed the costume of Bungle. And I'm going to show you a picture of uh -huh. early Bungle. I don't like the newer Bungle, so is this worse? Oh, you've okay. no idea. Oh, they no. couldn't have made him more scary if they had tried. So this is early Bungle. No. Oh, you have shown me this. Because no. you were like, look at this nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll put it on the Instagram yeah. so everyone can see it. So they redesigned Bungle. I think they might have recast Bungle as well. No, yes, they did recast Bungle because this early Bungle, um, the same guy was the voice of K-9 in Doctor uh, Who. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So, so they redesigned him based on... Um, a tardigrade. Yeah, he looks like a tardigrade, yeah. the more famous one, yeah. Um, <laughs> and he sounds like a man in a bear costume. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like he's talking through fabric. Yeah. 
so Zippy is now in the house mm. and he's got a friend who's another puppet. Sorry, they Bungle is like... Z- Zippy off the street. Yeah, they yeah. did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Bungle's like a man in a bear costume walking around. Jeffrey Hayes is uh, a man. Just and a man. Just a normal man living just in this house. Just an innocent man. normal, is he? <laughs> I think, well, I don't know. Elsie, um, <laughs> Elsie. He is the father to. <laughs> he is the to, minder to, to, to a homosexual thruple. I'm getting to the homosexual thruple. So you've got Zippy, Bungle, and then George. George is a pink hippo. He's a hippo. Yeah, he's okay. A hippo. I didn't think it was any real creature. So it's yeah, okay. he's a hippo. He I mean, hated his eyelashes. He's camp as Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> he's gay as the Fourth of July. Bungle, tell me, why do you want a room of your own? Because I do, Geoffrey. Some of my friends have got rooms of their own and it's it's very grown up to have a room of your own. But look, Zippy just told you we've only got two bedrooms. There's my bedroom and there's and yours. yours. Hmm. Well, why should you have a bedroom of your own, Geoffrey? Well, because, uh... Well... You can't think of a reason, can you? Geoffrey should have a room of his own bungle. Mm-hmm. No, he shouldn't, uh... Why don't I have your room, Geoffrey, and you can share with Zippy and George? <gasps> oh, yes, Geoffrey. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Come on, jump in. It's lovely and warm. But Zippy, it's time to get up now. Oh. Well, Geoffrey? Oh, well, what, Bungle? Am I to have your room and you share with Zippy and George? Well, is that what you want? Yes, Geoffrey, it is. Oh, all right, Bungle. You have my bedroom tonight. <laughs> And we'll have Jeffrey with us. Mm, mm. <laughs> he's so calm. I love George. Yeah. No, he's yeah. I would like to um say who this Twitter user was, but I think the tweet has since been deleted. But they described the three quote unquote children of the <laughs> Rainbow House as Zip Face Monster, Hot Mess Hippo, and the blowjob bear from The Shining. <laughs> My dad once was telling me about Rainbow ages ago before I'd ever watched any of it. And he was like, yeah, it's such a weird scenario. You've got the man bear, the gay <laughs> hippo and the zip face monster. <laughs> and every Zippy time, makes no sense. Every time he gets a bit too cocky or he talks too much, they zip his mouth yeah. closed. Yeah. And it's really kind of... Strikes Ooh. gimp, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Like me, I've got energy. <laughs> oh, calm down, Zippy, please. Calm down. You know what? I think you've got far too much energy. <laughs> yes, and you're much too noisy as well. <laughs> no, 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 don't love it, him. He can't help it. He's just, well, well, he's just Zippy. <laughs> you are Zippy. Oh, thank you, George. You're very kind. <laughs> I wish they'd do that with him more often because I yeah. hate. I hate Zippy's voice. I hate all their voices. They're treated like children in this house, but they're all... They act like children also. They're all creepy men. (laughs) (laughs) So we'll get onto the personalities of them in a minute. Mm. Can I just finish the timeline of... Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. No, no, no. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) We've all had a bit of wine. Uh, Excuse me. I'm having press day. Yeah, Laura's just hostile, as we mentioned. (laughs) Hey, I no 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 no. Hostility is being directed at me. Okay. <laughs> if that's what you think. They also in this era, this sort of 15 year run, they had a group called Rod Jane and Freddy who provided like <clears throat> musical segments. Lots of surprises. Lots of disguises. You've got to guess who I am. Talking to 
They're weird. Yeah, I, Rod, they're yeah. weird. So they also provided music for Sooty and Friends. Yes, yeah. They were just sort of around on TV in the 70s and 80s. They were budget ABBA. They were ABBA. Yeah, they, yeah, they ABBA? struck me as... <laughs> ab, ab. <laughs> <laughs> Two men and a woman. Yeah. Bab. Bab, yeah. Bab. They yeah. struck me as budget ABBA. And yeah. I'll be honest, when I was re-watching it, I just skipped through every... Song. Song, yeah. Well, as my mum said, they don't have any tunes, they just have close harmonies. Yes. <laughs> they don't have any memorable no, they tunes. Don't. Apart from, I feel the beat of your heart in the band episode. D- again, skip through it. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be bothered. <laughs> And this era came to an end in 1989, I believe. Uh, Rod, Jane and Freddie leave in 89. Um, they recast some of the... Um, so Roy Skelton was the voice of um, Zippy and George. Mm-hmm. And he provided like the most iconic. Like No one's really matched it since. Like People have done a pretty good job with Kermit, but like no one's really got there with um Zippy and George. So the cast, like Jeffrey Hayes, Roy Skelton, they kept because it was so popular with children and adults, he kept the two of them kept um appearing on talk shows, um live shows, like touring universities and shit. And Rod Jane and Freddie have done that as well, is in a kind of well, you know how Dick and Don do, like in a kind oh, of yeah, ironic. That's, that's true, yeah. 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 Like they do clubs and shit. Yeah, the guy that plays Hodor in Game of Thrones only DJs at like universities because the students oh, wow. are the only one who he's shit and the only people that give a shit about him is enough to just deal with it as university students. I love that. Yeah. So he's <laughs> he's been at my brother's uni like six times. <laughs> Which uni is that? Kent. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so they started a campaign, a newspaper campaign to get Rainbow. Well, it's 1989. Yeah, yeah <laughs> to get Rainbow back on air. They also prompted the release of a song by a band called Eurobop, and it was a Europop um, <laughs> version of the theme tune. So they did bring it back on TV, but without Jeffrey Hayes. <gasps> <laughs> yeah. and Come on, Laura. But give, it, I, give it some shock. Three, two, one. <gasps> no, it is sad because he couldn't find work after that because he'd been Jeffrey from Rainbow he'd for so... He'd been Jeffrey. Yeah, he, he was Jeffrey from Rainbow for so long that he struggled to find work after that. Um, or he sad. was, Or he was bad. And he failed at audition. No. No, 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 no. no. None of what I saw in Rainbow convinces me this no, guy I'm was not, good. No, I'm not having this. I think he did his fucking best. I think he performs really well in that show. I think he, he understands what he's in. and That's fair. Okay. I think he's fun to watch. I think, he's, I think he really knows what he's doing. I felt deeply sorry for him. 
every second he was on screen. Well, the the <laughs> cast had a really amazing time on it. There's like stories of how so there's a band episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which well, it was released, I think, on the internet, but it was for an ITV Christmas party for the staff. They made like a really oh, inappropriate episode. Hello, We could hear you all banging away. Do you want to blow my pipe while I'm twanging away? Oh no, Rod. I was blowing a lot with Roger last night. It doesn't matter what size your twanger is. <laughs> I've got a big red one. <laughs> well, have you got your twangers out? And remember, you can bounce your balls at the same time if you like. Or if you haven't got any balls, you can ask a friend if you can play with him. Um, and also, when the camera was on Jeffrey or Bungle or whoever, like, the puppeteers would make Zippy and George, like, shag each other. Like, they, they had, like... Fun. Sounds like the 80s. (laughs) Yeah, they like it was a kids show, but like it was just sort of a raucous set atmosphere. Um, And Jeffrey Hayes said that he genuinely really, really enjoyed being on the show and it was like a stable income for him for for a long time. So when they brought it back and he wasn't in it, what it was instead was Bungle, George, and Zippy work in a toy shop for an unseen boss called Mr. Top. No. <laughs> <laughs> and was they... he dating Mr. Bottom? Hey, behave. <laughs> they redesigned. Right. They redesigned Bungle for this. Oh, no. another one. They, yeah, okay. a, a third one. Let me just let me just find that one for you. Yeah. Worse, better, better. better. Really? Yeah. You think? Well, so he my... looks like a teddy bear. There. Yeah. Is it recorded? Yeah. Okay. My problem with the second one is that. It, the head has got this like very small poncho thing that goes over the body that shifts every time he yeah. moves his head that I find deeply unsettling because <laughs> it's like his skin is hot, shifting. It's so low effort, right? Because it feels like the second bungle they're trying to make him look like that. It looked yeah. more, it reminded me of the like teddy bear. So the reboot was very, very poorly received. The one where they work in the shop. For what reason? Don't know. I think I think people. It was just like a format that they weren't used to. Yeah. Like okay. people liked the old one, um, and then it was rebooted again with a a human presenter again, but it wasn't Jeffrey, and this was renamed Rainbow Days, and that went on for a few years, and that was also very poorly received, and then it finished. They're really trying hard. <laughs> really yeah. Grasping. Yeah, grasping like. It was something to do with, like, Thames TV merged with a different studio. Fremantle Media it merged with, which is now Talkback Thames. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know. I know. You know Talkback Thames. Oh, I, I don't. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> it is a production company. <laughs> what, what do they do? A lot of TV okay, shows. sorry. So, Meg, what was your... I know about you, Laura, but Meg, mm. what was your first introduction to Rainbow? I don't remember. Yeah, I was curious, what age did you guys... I have no idea, because my mum and dad liked it, but I don't think they played it to me religiously when I was a child or anything like that. So mine was one Christmas, my dad, and and my mum, I guess, gave me... Well, no, it was Father Christmas. (laughs) I unwrapped a DVD of Rainbow, and it was Rainbow from all different eras, actually, and, and Mr. Ben, which is a tv show from around the same time Mm -hmm. and my i think i mean it was a present for my mum and dad really and i have a strong memory of my dad saying to me it's so old i can't believe that father christmas found this in the shops i was like yeah okay (laughs) fine father christmas (laughs) father christmas goes to the shops and buys all the presents that he gives to the children father christmas instead of his magic instead of his magic elves no i mean he just had the files on his computer he just burned a disc for you Not, not my dad. <laughs> no, 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 Father Christmas. Not your dad, experts. That is interesting to me, though, because when I was watching it, Elsie sent five episodes and I watched three and a half of them because that was enough rainbow for me, an adult, who was just getting more and more and more irritated with the characters, especially Zippy. Oh, 
Uh, Zippy, am I still Jill? Oh, of course you are, Bungle. Why? Well, I, I haven't got very much to do now. Yeah, good. Pardon? Yeah, I meant, oh, good heavens, oh. haven't you, Bungle? Well, never mind. Sing, George, sing. Up Jack got and home he trot as fast as he could caper to old Dame Dobby. Dobby. Zippy, who, 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 Zippy? Oh. Dame Dob, George, Dame Dob. She's a lady, a lady who lives in the village. Oh, yeah. Bungle, Bungle, I wonder if you would be Dame Dob. I'm not playing anymore, Zippy. You've upset me. Oh, Bungle, dear Bungle, please be Dame Dob. I mean, I'm sorry I was rude to you just now, only I would like to get this song finished. Yes, please, Bungle. Yeah. You'll get to wear another hat if you're Dame Dob. Oh, all right then. Uh, yes, I'll be Dame Dob. <laughs> right, let's see what we can find. Exactly. Oh, yeah, how about this, Bungle? That's a smashing hat. Let's take the other one off. Where we are. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got that hat now. Right, try this one, one on now. Yeah. For Good. Dame Dob. Oh, How's that? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Geoffrey. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Bungle, Bungle, you, you need some vinegar and brown paper, Bungle, to, to patch Jack's knob. <gasps> oh, now, if you're wondering what Jack's knob is, Bungle, well, that's another word for Jack's head. Bungle? Funny. He's an arsehole, but he's funny. But Zippy just pure grates on me, right? So I'm interested to know why your parents did that to themselves willingly. It's actually a really good question. Like, yeah. what is it that they like? So about on it? that Christmas Day, they put the DVD on, and the Thames, Winced. <laughs> the Thames logo came up, and they both uh, just looked at each other and went, "Oh." Thames. The Thames. <laughs> yeah, because they just had like a sort of moment of nostalgia when that logo came up. And I mean, I, I was a kid, like I watched it and I didn't think yeah, too yeah. hard about it. And now I watch it and I think it's genuinely one of the funniest things. I think it's so, so funny. But why? Why? Yeah. Because Cause it's, cause it's not. I'll tell you. <laughs> you don't think it's funny. I don't think it's funny at all. No, that's fine. Yeah. I think it's funny because... Zippy is an arsehole, Bungle is an arsehole, and George is a neurotic gay hippo. <laughs> and they're in a gay thruple, yeah. and they're all supposed to be about seven years old, and they live in a house with a, a single parent figure. They sleep in the same bed. Oh, they do? They, yeah, yes. they do. They oh. all sleep in the same bed. If Wait, may... also Jeffrey? No, Jeffrey doesn't. Okay. I don't think we ever see Jeffrey. Did you not watch the episode where Bungle gets invited to Sooty's birthday party? And okay, he... that's that's one I didn't. Watch so he yet. thinks he's he thinks only he has been invited because um, George and Zippy's invites haven't arrived yet. So he spends the day going around thinking he's better than everyone else. And he's like, I don't want to sleep in this bed with these two losers anymore. And makes Jeffrey switch bedrooms with him. It's called Bungle's High and Mighty Day. In and fact, sorry, go on. And it turns out <laughs> that, um, so at the very end, Jeffrey, George and Zippy are in bed together and Bungle comes in and he's like lonely, basically. Aww. And they like wave their <laughs> invites in the air and they're like, look what came in the afternoon post. That's kind of how we speak. <laughs> um, and... Um, and Bungle goes, oh, well, I didn't want to go to Sooty's birthday party by myself anyway. And Zippy goes... You sound like Paddington, by the way. <laughs> and Zippy goes, you fibber. <laughs> you fibber. Yeah. Because he's just been such a cunt to them yeah. all day. In fact, there's an episode that uh, <laughs> we say it in our family a lot um, when the situation arises. There's a, a bit where... Zippy and George are sharing a bath and Jeffrey's bathing them. <laughs> oh, and... yes. Yes. <laughs> and Bungle, who doesn't wear clothes. Right, I was going to ask about this because yeah. sometimes he wears clothes. He wears pyjamas to bed, but in the day he <laughs> Or he cross-dresses. Or he cross-dresses. Jane from or Pop Chain and Friends. when they go camping, he dresses in clothes. <laughs> yeah, when he's outside. Yeah. <laughs> you know those toddlers, they just take their clothes <laughs> off. <laughs> My dad. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> just love being naked. They do. And Bungle is six year old. So yeah. yeah. So he's stood, Bungle is stood next to the bath in his towel around his waist. And he's the same height as Jeffrey. Right? Maybe even taller. He's and huge. The other two are in the bath, and Jeffrey's trying to get Bungle to go in the bath as well. And it's like he's not going to fit. There's not room for for him in that bath. And Jeffrey tries to get his towel off, and Bungle goes, "Do not remove my towel, Jeffrey. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to splash about in the bath like everyone else." <laughs> and we say it. Me and my dad say it to each other quite a lot, but it's not the same without the visuals. Yeah. Right, come on then, Bungle. It's bath time. I'll have my bath later if you don't mind, Jeffrey. But it's ready now. Come on, jump in. What if we don't do that? <laughs> don't bother with Bungle, Jeffrey. He's been all high and mighty all day. <laughs> I'll have a wash instead. I don't want to share a bath with Zippy and George. But, but, but it's fun in the bath, Bungle. Come on. Yes, come on, Bungle. Get into this bath. Please do not remove my towel, Jeffrey. I don't want to splash about in the bath with anyone else. Well, please yourself, Bungle. You have the bathroom to yourself in a minute. Thank you. Right, come on, you two. Let's have a good wash. Oh, oh Zippy, what have you got there? Oh, it's my loofah, Jeffy. I'm I going to wash George's back. T- t- turn around, John. Oh, yay. <laughs> One of the the time that... So... Do you ever have a dream? <laughs> <laughs> so Meg and I have a very, very similar sense of humour, right? And I remember really? being down White for a gate... That's a whole street. Yeah. And yes, what? I'm sorry, what? A white brigade is, is a whole a street. street. It's okay. A... Okay. And there so was a right, shop yeah. there called Kapow. It was there for a, a number of years. Um, it's not there anymore. It's like a retro gift store. Yeah. And there was a cabinet full of Zippy merch. And yes. the, the two of us stood in front of it and laughed. And the, nothing happened. He's just funny yeah <laughs> it was it's, it was such a weird thing to have in like that shot was such a well it was a godsend if you needed a birthday present for someone and it I'm was sad it's gone. it was full of like novelty item it was like penelope pit stop bags and zippy magnets and goonies yeah whatever and just it was like very gremlins i had a gremlin yeah, yeah it had one of those like poster books mounted on the wall that you flicked through and never bought is penelope puts up the hannah hannah barbera yeah, yeah okay yeah. Yeah. wacky races another anecdote about that shop is in i was in year nine nine or ten mm-hmm. it was jimmy savile had just been found out and, just me. Yes. Yeah. And my friend... You no, know, someone... everyone had just admitted yeah, to someone, each other. Yeah, someone yeah, just yeah. like, maybe we should tell everyone. You know what I mean. It was public knowledge. And my <laughs> friend, Jess, was wearing a bag, um, her school bag, from Kapow. Was it a shop. Jim or Fix It bag? It said Jim <gasps> Fix It for me. No. And... Uh-oh. Yeah. And it... our teacher thought it was really funny and in the middle of class said Jess do you mind if I just run and take your bag to the staff room to show whichever teacher she was friends with and Jess was like yeah fine so we were all sat in the class while this teacher sort of dashed across the corridor and then like 10 minutes later this teacher comes back and there is electrical tape over the words because our head of year, who is a cow, by the way, she was horrible and none of the other teachers liked her either. She took it upon herself to cover up those... Like, it's just, a student's Yeah, I, I was property. about to say, that's like uh, just yeah, but vandalizing be, someone's property. But it isn't because, to be fair, it's electrical tape. Just fucking take it off. No, she took it off. And it ripped off yeah. the surface of it. Okay, well, the head of year wasn't to know that. She was probably just doing what she thought was best, so they didn't get into trouble for flaunting a Jim or Fix It bag in the staff room. What? Let's put this in context. <laughs> okay. No, let's yeah, put this in context. It was like context. 2013. She might, have, she might have been a cow, but she was right to do that. I would say maybe like bring the bag back to the student and be like, no. Let's do a Twitter poll. No. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, we're not, we're anyway, not my, op- my opinion is stopping us getting blacklisted from a lot of things. Turn the bag so... inside out. It, it will have been a rucksack. Was it a rucksack? Turn it no. inside out and have the handles I inside. It was a tote bag. No, it was over the shoulder, like you know when Gola bags were really popular. No, what's a Gola bag? Okay. Oh wow. 
You really, I weren't, you really weren't here I in 2013. Here. Yeah, Gola bags were massive. Well, tell, like tell leather me. over the shoulder. Like for a year, two years, everyone had one. They what were shape. ugly. Do you remember Paul's boutique? Yeah, ugly. Yeah. What shape? Was, was it, was it like a tote bag? shaped Oh, shush. Was it like a tote bag? It was rectangle. Okay. It was like know. a shopper. What? It was like a shopper bag. It was like, oh my God. What's oh a my... shopper bag? Oh, fucking hell. Pause it. <laughs> She's... Oh, God, it's Katie again. Come on. Oh, yes, I was, I was very good. Yes, it was I. Yes. Well, it's funny. I thought I heard Roger and Freddie singing. Uh, you did, Jeffrey. But where are they, George? <laughs> Here. <laughs> Here? But where? Here, Geoffrey. We're pretending to be Rod, Jane and Freddy. Oh, <laughs> I'm Freddy. <laughs> oh, can you guess who I am? I've got some yellow wool for my hair and an old curtain for my skirt. Yes, that's right, I'm Jane. Yeah, well, come on, let's show Geoffrey. <laughs> you want you to be good, I'm Freddy. <laughs> yes, we know that, George. Right. One, two, three. So, of the rainbow that you both have that you both can remember what do you remember and if does anything stick out well i watched it all today yeah so um the secret room episode sticks out pretty prominently yeah the secret room <laughs> so that's when george has a secret room that yeah, he, yeah. yeah that he just hangs out in and then they do a whole song where they're like it's important that you have a secret room in your house and i'm like how big does your house need to be that you can hide a fucking room from your parents yeah it's just where he goes from your parents (laughs) and this was on the dvd that my parents bought for me and my mum watched it with us and she said you know you you couldn't actually broadcast this today because in the episode george looks at the viewer and he says this is our secret and you're not allowed to put that on thanks jimmy yeah because it's really there's a weird tone to that whole episode like when the george bits where everyone else is just like where's george which is fine whatever uh but there's the weird tone when he's in a secret room it's yeah that. i mean it's that something to do with his creepy as fuck voice <laughs> now be very careful because it's very sticky yes there yeah <gasps> Oh dear, Bertie, I told you to be careful. Oh dear, what a mess. Let me just wipe you that better. <laughs> yeah, good. Oh, oh, uh, hello. This is my friend Bertie. I've just been giving him his tea. Oh, he was very hungry. <laughs> this is my secret place. <laughs> do, do, do you like it? <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's really the room upstairs where Jeffrey keeps old boxes and things he doesn't want all the time. But I use it when I want to do things on my own. When I come here, nobody knows where I am. It's secret. And I can sink and play here without Zippy or Bungle. <laughs> yes, it's my secret place. <laughs> I'm the only one who knows I come here. <laughs> oh, now you know as well. Oh, don't tell the others, will you, please? Because it's your secret as well now. So let's keep the secret to ourselves. Shh. He's the nicest one. Though. Yeah, George is yeah. great. George just wants everyone to get along. Yeah. Bungle and Zippy are Chaotic at evil. each other's <laughs> throats. So there's an episode where I am cross, George, and Bungle's crying. <laughs> 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 round and round and round. Oh! <laughs> Zippy, can't you be more careful? Look what you've done to me. Now you're frowning because you're cross, Jeffrey. I am cross, George, and Bungle's crying. <laughs> I bet you're angry now, aren't you, Jeffrey? <laughs> I, I am, am Zippy, cross. and Bungle's <laughs> crying. <laughs> the only episode where I think George makes people angry that I've witnessed was, I think, the band episode? Not as, not as in, like, Bard, as in, like, 
the a musical band yes where um jeffrey where they're puts idolizing on a, rod jane and freddie and yeah, trying to be a band and jeffrey puts on a leather jacket that i really like yeah he looks yeah. good in it yeah. <laughs> yeah there's an episode where zippy has the measles and he's <laughs> up in his room pre-mmr <laughs> and to, to cheer him up um George is, he, he's painted a picture of Zippy and Bungle, <laughs> asshole that he is, is like, that's good, George, but you're missing something. It just puts red paint all over him. Oh, no. his picture. Like, what a dickhead. <laughs> yeah. Bungle's just very selfish. He's like a very self-involved child well, he's but because like, they sound like grown men, yeah. I'm annoyed with them all the time. <laughs> yeah. It's like when they're kids... You can excuse that behaviour, but when they sound just like creepy old men, I'm just annoyed with them all the time. Yeah. I do think it's uh, unintentional comedy genius. Like, there's a bit where... So, a theme, not a theme, but something that happens a lot is... Bungle likes dressing as women. Like, in the games they play, he just enjoys dressing as women. And I'm going to play a scene. um, Is this one where he dresses as Jane? No, it's the one where he dresses as... um, Basically, Zippy says that he's not allowed to dress as a woman and he goes in a strap. That's that's, that's it. (laughs) Oh, I liked his um, Jill hat. He has this little one... I think he's being... Jill Jack and from Jill. Jack and Jill. And yes. he's got this very no, that's pretty what I'm hat gonna play. Yeah, he's yeah, got yeah. a very pretty hat Oh, uh, Zippy, am I still Jill? Oh, of course you are, Bungle. Why? Well, I, I haven't got very much to do now. Good. Pardon? Yeah, I meant, oh, good heavens, oh. haven't you, Bungle? Well, never mind. Sing, George, sing. Up Jack got and home he trot as fast as he could caper to old Dame Dobby. Jippy, who, 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 Jippy? Oh, Dame Dob, George, Dame Dob. She's a lady, a lady who lives in the village. Oh, yeah. But Bungle, Bungle, I I wonder if you would be Dame Dob. I'm not playing anymore, Zippy. You've upset me. Oh, oh, Bungle, dear Bungle, please be Dame Dob. I mean, I'm sorry I was rude to you just now, only I would like to get this song finished. Yes, please, Bungle. Yeah. You'll get to wear another hat if you're Dame Dob. Oh, all right then. Uh, Yes, I'll be Dame Dob. (laughs) Right, let's see what we can find. Oh, yeah, how about this, Bungle? That's a smashing hat. Let's take the other one off. Where we are. Oh, yeah, you got that hat now. Right, try this one on now. Yeah. A Dame Dob. Oh, How's that? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Bungle, Bungle, you, you need some vinegar and brown paper, Bungle, to, to patch Jack's knob. Well, oh, it's... now, if you're wondering what Jack's knob is, Bungle, well, that's another word for Jack's head <laughs> there's also a there, there's a episode where they're doing like a little talent show for each other and bungle wears a tutu and oh yeah. again he looks great he looks great that the way he moves is genuinely quite graceful it's yeah weird. <laughs> i'm really impressed you're in a freaking bear suit and you're doing <laughs> yeah. ballet like well done yeah again confusing clothing he's dressed what does this mean there's a bit where um, that men don't wear clothes but women do George is like building a like a tower out of blocks. Oh, yeah. oh the pe- the drawing. Yeah, yeah. Wow. and Bungle's trying to. He's taking up the whole table. No, you want yeah. Want to put one? But Bungle, 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 I, I want you to build my castle. Yeah, you're taking too much room. No, I'm not, George. I'm drawing the biggest picture in the world, so I need all the table. You move your castle. I was here first. You move. No. Yeah, you go in no. that silly drawing. Oh, you got my castle. Oh. You, I just want Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey. And he destroys his own drawing. <laughs> Out of Sometimes spite. you just yeah. want to watch the world burn. He just turns it into a weapon against George. He's like, "Well, I'll play. I'll play the scene anyway." Bungle's the Joker of the children's TV world. <laughs> it's like Zippy is a dickhead, and he knows it. Like yeah. he's mischievous. Bungle is like the Joker. <laughs> no, no, no. Bungle doesn't know that he's like everyone has oh. that friend that's like 
you just put up with their bullshit because they don't know. Of the three of us, mm. who's George, who's Zippy, and who's oh, Bungle? God. You're oh, Zippy. Oh, God. Fuck off. You're Fuck Zippy. off! Oh, God. No. Yes, you're Zippy, uh, Laura's Bungle, and I'm George. And I think... <laughs> oh, you're so lucky that I'm not... You're, you're sitting in equipment, or and that wine would have been... Hey, really I think... better than mine. I don't agree. I basically... All of us would only have been happy George. with George. <laughs> I think this is obvious, to be honest. <laughs> I don't want to be zippy. I don't want to be bungle. Meg, Fuck you. Meg, you know that you are. Would you rather Would you rather be bungle? No. And you've got the most marketable face. You're on the most fridge magnets. Do does she have, have, does she have the most marketable face? face? No, I'm saying that you're. I'm assigning you the character that so- sells the most merch. Oh, so you're saying I don't have a marketable face? <laughs> well, no, I think you're pretty. But I guess that's not the question, is it? Laura? Do I think you have a marketable face? Yeah. I think you have very... <laughs> currently desirable lip shape that would lend well to makeup campaigns. Oh, that's true about Meg, actually. Yeah. <laughs> say what, about my nose? Say what, what you like about... Cute little, you have cute little Say nose. what you like about Meg. She's got nice lips. <laughs> say what you like about Meg, but she's got a currently desirable lip shape. Yeah. <laughs> do well in makeup marketing yeah, campaigns yeah, yeah. So you've got that like full very defined you're like Liv um, Tyler you don't look like Liv Tyler but, but like little famous lips. famously nice lips you're like Scarlett Johansson does she have oh. famously nice lips well thank you well, I, th- I think that she has nice lips. She has nice lips okay I just didn't know if she famous she's got a lot of lip yeah ah. as does Meg right so what makes <laughs> she's got a lot of lips what lip. makes you George then <laughs> Well, I'm not Bungle or Zippy, and she, he, he's the last one. I don't think I'm Bungle, pardon you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very polite. No, Laura, <laughs> you're right. You don't know you're an asshole. Whereas I do. I'm not saying I'm not. I really tried to find this episode to show it to you, but I couldn't find it. There is an episode where Jeffrey goes away for can i be jeffrey yeah you can be jeffrey no actually no because you are the dad of this house that's true it is true yeah jeffrey <laughs> goes away for a little bit on like, holiday i think no yeah maybe on holiday i don't know i think possibly they say we're gonna be fine without you and he's like oh fine and he goes at least for your seven-year-old uh, alone. yeah <laughs> and the three of them get so bored and so depressed that they go to bed in the middle of the afternoon to finish the day. <laughs> Aww, Finna- I wish I could do that. <laughs> yeah, but no, you can because you're an adult. And yeah, you can no, do but I, I can't go to bed at 3 p.m. and like expect to wake up 9 a.m. the next day. That's not going to happen. I have been there. Have you been there? Yeah, I've been there. Yeah. What, you slept for, what, 15 hours? No, but we've all <laughs> had depression naps, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're clammy. Laura, I'm boiling. <laughs> Because we're me and Elsie drinking wine as well, so we're hotter yeah. anyway. It's a really depressing episode. They're like, "Oh, we don't know what to do with ourselves. Let's go to bed." And the three of them just get in the same bed and wait until he comes home. Aww. This is what I imagine my mum and dad do now. I've moved out. <laughs> get home from work, eat dinner, go to bed. Ah, uh, um, Rod, Jane, and Freddie. So uh, Rod and Jane were married and then divorced. And then shortly after, Jeffrey joined the group. In, in real life or in the show? In real life. Okay. Um, shortly after Jeffrey joined the group, her, him and Jane got together. Ooh. They married in 2016. Oh. And Freddie died in 2021. Oh. Anyway, that's uh, the love triangle that is Rod, Jane and Freddie. Well, so, is it, a a bit, so is it, it is a bit like Abba. Yeah, I was literally yeah, about they, to say. They seem to make it work. I mean... I was about to say some divorce is amicable, but I feel like that's probably I'm in quite a band rare. with my ex and her new husband. They <laughs> always look like they're having a lot of fun. Yes. They've do had, you they've think had three? So yeah. Yes. Do you think yeah. that um, Rod and Freddie explored each other's bodies? I think they all have. Yeah, all of them, including including George. And... <laughs> well, we know that they did. <laughs> they probably both just needed help with Jane. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. Are we are we shading Jane by saying she's a needy lady, or are we shading the men lady. by saying that they're shit lovers? Did you in the paper some time ago? There's, there's some expose, and, and you know, do you all live together? <laughs> yeah, of course we do. 
Don Cheney and Freddie were a formative experience for me. Rainbow was a big deal. That, you know, they made me the person I am, which is possibly not a good reflection on them. I'll never be lonely, be lonely without you. Well, just so we don't damage your childhood memories any further, are you sitting comfortably? Rod and I were married, and then we got divorced. <laughs> <laughs> Some years later, when Freddie joined, um, Freddie and I hooked up together. Yeah. Rod and Jane had been divorced long before I actually joined the series. So, it, with all the best will in the world, it was very difficult to make a menage a trois out of something that didn't exist. <laughs> Although Rod and I were thinking of running away together to Brazil. <laughs> very bad. <laughs> But some people are happier with the fantasy. Rod, Gene and Freddie probably did have a threesome, but I imagine they stopped halfway through and went, we know a song about this. The Rainbow theme song. It was Telltale. It was a band called Telltale that um, wrote the theme song that um, was for, for the entire sort of mm. 20, 30 odd year run. Um, oh, it was really cute. I, it is cute. Yeah. Oh, I don't think it's that good. I think it's adorable. I think No, I think it's adorable, but like... I don't think it's very memorable. No, yeah. I, I can't bring it to mind, and I've heard it six times a day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's an extended version where um, it actually goes on, and night comes, and it goes dark, and it sort of goes a little bit minor and a bit oh, sort of creepy. Yeah. yeah. because I'm really excited about this. Matt Berry has a cover album in which... Is, this is... Um, Matt Berry. IT crowd. Yeah, yeah. Meg loves his voice, Matt Berry. Yeah, everyone okay. loves his voice. But Meg loves his voice. Should be going berserk. <laughs> <Yeah>. UK. <laughs> Father. I do, I do love his voice, but my boyfriend once said something really cutting about Matt Berry because oh. he really like he really likes Matt really likes Matt Berry. More, oh. I think more than the three of us really likes him. Likes to so if you love likes, him that much, you can you can insult. Him. Likes his music, like actively listens to his albums. Yeah, he's didn't got know good music. But he once music, looked yeah. at a picture of Matt Berry and said, "You can tell why he gets no bitches." And I was like, do you think he's got no bitch? And he was like, well, he's been unmarried his whole life. That doesn't mean he gets no bitch. No, that suggests to me that he gets He gets lots of bitches. He gets bitches. Hella bitches. <laughs> like, this is what I said. But I don't know if he, if he just has this opinion of Matt Berry that someone should marry no, the guy. <laughs> I, I firmly disagree. I think there's something a bit sexy about Matt Berry. Guys yeah. at home, do you think Matt Berry gets no bitches or gets all the bitches? Or gets medium bitches. He doesn't get medium he bitches. Get, he gets one or the other. Wait, no, no, no bitch has been able to lock him down. That's, that's <laughs> I could change him. <laughs> It'll be me. <laughs> so yeah, he's got a cover album full of uh, th TV themes. Um, he's Does got he an amazing voice. Just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got an amazing voice. And do you want, do you want my fan, Meg? No, I'm alright. Okay. I mean, like. Fan, not like no i'm fine okay. carry on else. sorry we're very warm in here yeah. um and rainbow was one of those that he's covered and i'm gonna play it for you so we can have a little react to that and i'm also going to play you the Eurobop. yes yeah version well, yeah. which i've not heard yet yeah Above the streets and houses, rainbow climbing high. Everyone can see it smiling over the sky. Paint the whole world with a rainbow. We've just had a break to stand on the balcony where it's cool, and we've listened to the Matt Berry version of the song. What do we think? Oh, she done I the liked original. it. Yeah, very nice. And we've listened to the Eurobop 
version also which i also good. liked yeah i i like a club edit of a children's tv yeah. song do you know what rainbow like the intro the vibe reminds me of did you when you were kids ever buy or have those sponge paintbrush things yes that- <laughs> yes 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 <laughs> that you do they were all the adverts were like here you can do a yeah, yeah yeah very long tv yeah, adverts. yeah, yeah. It super was long infomercial almost, yeah almost like a shopping channel <laughs> like except, yeah, yeah. except not on a yeah, shopping yeah. channel it's because they that what they can advertise to kids is so specific. They were like, "We'll buy out because kids will want this. We'll yeah. buy out long advert spots." And I had one. My brother had one. See what we had from one of those. It wasn't the so we had the magic pens. You know the what the pens that were rainbow colored. No, you would draw on special paper. And, and it was, was oh yeah yeah yeah. 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 Okay. So we had those. But we didn't want them because of the TV adverts. I think our parents just found them and bought them for us. And we also had Flome. I remind me. I hate slime, foam, Flome. And the reason I hate it is because I hate anything that smells that brand of weird. Like, like I don't, plastic-y. I don't like the smell of PVA glue. I don't like the oh. smell of Play-Doh. I don't like the smell of crayons. And I don't like touching anything that's going like, to leave that smell on my hands. And I remember going to see... So my mum and dad have got um, some friends who have got a young daughter. And I think it was like last year we went round... And they got out like her like toy box of essential, essentially like essential fidget <laughs> spin, like th- th- like stimming things, and there's like slime, and the like ones where you pop things in and out, and the spinners and stuff. I think they're just cool. And they were every adult in the room took something out of this box <laughs> apart from me to play. My dad was sat there playing with slime, and I was just like. Oh, it's uh, it's got kid germs in it. And my my, <laughs> my I was the only one probably s- safer than adult germs. I was but go on. Oh, what was no? Sat there, just sat, and my dad's friend said, "I wonder who in this room doesn't have ADHD." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I find that the pop trays. I think that's what they're called. Boring very quickly. It, yeah. I, yeah, give me actual so. bubble wrap i don't find bubble wrap that exciting oh i love bubble wrap do you know who loves bubble wrap asked us to bring bubble wrap to the hospital for her my my grandma my oh my 80 85 year old grandma in fact when we unwrapped um our third mic i threw away the bubble wrap because i knew that i would start annoying you both very quickly oh it doesn't with annoy it. me Maybe it annoys her. It doesn't annoy me. Go for it. I'm just not asked about it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I don't like fun things. I know, that, <laughs> I know that the noise would annoy me if someone else was having oh, okay. fun with it. So yeah. I, I'm fully with you with the slime. Uh, I hate that sort of not exactly wet, but not exactly dry feeling that your hands well, are left with. Well, it's made out of PVA glue and oh. something else as well. Like when people make homemade stuff, PVA glue is the main ingredient. I find this, I don't know if I like the smell of PVA glue, but I find it very nostalgic. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't smelt it in years, uh, but it, it's one of those ones that I know immediately. I can bring it to mind, even I, the the feeling of having it on my hands and like peeling it yeah, off. I just don't like being messy. As we were on the balcony as well, listening to those tunes, um, we observed. So our neighbors have their um, drying, sheets. <laughs> yeah, their sheets on the balcony, and there's a a grey fitted sheet on there. Not grey as in like old, like it was originally grey, probably. Like a like a light grey. Yeah, we observed that all boys have grey fitted sheets. If you're a boy listening to this podcast and you don't have a grey fitted sheet, we'd love to hear from you. <laughs> what is a boy without a grey fitted sheet if not a woman? <laughs> <laughs> I I think that uh, it changes if you like are in a long-term relationship with a woman. Sure, say. sure. Um, a lot of boys also have navy blue bed sheets. That's a common thing, I think. See, I have navy blue and grey bed sheets. Yeah, I have navy blue. <laughs> yeah, it's not fitted, actually. I don't Yeah, own... yours, are, yours are wild. They're, I yours don't are, own a yours fitted are sheet. flat sheets, aren't they? Yeah, they, they are. Which, oh, yeah. I don't know. Well, I make life up. I don't know. <laughs> because it was what my parents had to spare when I was moving out. And I never went and bought another one for myself. Do you, do you want some fitted sheets? Oh, Laura's sorry. got fucking plenty. What for, for real? Uh, no, my actually my blade, my navy blue one, the elastic 
has disintegrated. Well, don't offer something. No, no, I, I, I'll, fit, I'll buy you one. What is Laura. a fitted sheet without elastic if not a flat sheet? Yeah, no, honestly, <laughs> that's why I'm like, it, it, like as I was putting it on, the, you know how elastic just does that thing where it goes, ugh. That's, <laughs> that's the end of me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the end of me <laughs> and it's like i've it's lived its life it's when you go you're walking on the pavement and somewhere there's a bee on the floor just that's what it is <laughs> and you know i'm i'm gonna issue a psa here they te- <laughs> the, they, they tell you you're supposed to get some sugar water no, and yeah. put it in front of that bee that's wrong. You're not supposed to do that. If it is lying, stamp on, the floor, on it. Yes. <laughs> no. If, well, you can if it's all slow and but like not looking like it's gonna die. Just normal water. Yeah. Give it a little treat. If Come on. No. Listen. It, it, will, it will overwhelm it if you give it sugar water, and it will have like a uh, hyperglycemic attack and die. Just give it water. What a way to go, though. It's the equivalent sugar of like death. if you, if there was a human, like a very old human. A li- like dead on the floor and you gave them a bit of like cowpol. It's like <laughs> no that's no that's the equivalent. It's like because that bee was gonna die anyway. It was at the end of its oh, life. Yeah. It's like come on just a few more minutes. <laughs> just, that, just another flower. Just so, just so a human can feel good about them. Yeah that, no, yeah that's the equivalent. Just let it die. I, I mean maybe actually maybe you were right. Stomp on it. Stomp make, on to put it. it out of his misery. Maybe. But, yeah. The thing is Honestly, if I walk, if I'm walking down the street and I see a bee on the floor, I am going to walk past it. <laughs> I'm not going to go. Oh, I'm going to go home and get a bottle cap full. Well, of there sugar is there is that. You. Like, yeah, me too. I'm going to go get my train. Actually, <laughs> yeah. <there's that. laughs> like, if it's on the balcony, yeah, sure. But if you're on the street, I no. Well, stop. <laughs> May I bring this back to the subject at hand? No. Bed <laughs> No, I accidentally bought a king size bed sheet. And no, it's... not bed sheets, <laughs> rainbow. <laughs> you div. So rainbow, right? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's you... Pride Month, y'all. It's Pride Month. Yeah, we're recording this in Pride Month. Yeah, it yeah. won't go out in Pride Month, no. but we've all no. in honor of Pride Month. We've all been lesbians for the last. Few <laughs> we are the female rainbow. You haven't had people assume that you're dating. You're not proper best mates. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Although we do live together, which helps. Helps with or that. hinders? <laughs> Helps with that illusion. Ah, I see. Rainbow. Yeah. Rainbow. When I went to uni, which was 2017, the late 2017, September 2017, yes. um, I was very, very homesick for the first sort of two or three weeks. And... I don't know where this came from. Like, I I hadn't watched Rainbow in maybe, I don't know, eight, ten years. Because I I just watched it on DVD with my my siblings and my parents. That's what I'd done. And I found that at night in my... (laughs) Alone in your uni bedroom. Yeah, I couldn't, like, fully relax enough to go to sleep unless I watched an episode of Rainbow on YouTube. That's very specific. I think it's just because That's it was, very sad. I'm it's sorry, something I, was... I so I connected to home so much. Right. I think like it's funny, it's light. Also it's... like you said it's it's an unusual show for people our age, right? So it's one that's yeah. like sort of unique to your family. No, exactly. Yeah. And it just sort of felt nostalgic and I it made me laugh and I don't know, I just watched in those first few weeks, something in my body just really needed to watch Rainbow. Yeah. So that, I don't know. And then in, I don't know if I was in second year or third year. I think I was in third year. Um, I was in a lecture and I'd stopped doing this. I'd long stopped watching this to Taking be able notes, to go to sleep. Yes. Yeah. Stopped going to <laughs> stop paying No, attention. no, sorry. I'd long stopped watching Rainbow, Rainbow to, to be able yourself. to sleep. Yes. And my friend Sean, who was my best friend at uni, um, who has been mentioned on the show before, 
Is she going to get an episode? Shan. You're going to feature Sean? I would love to. Yeah, she's a big sooty fan, so maybe I'll get her on that for that. And you, you could do, I could be gone, have your guest in, and it's the normal Meg and Elsie show plus guest. We'll we'll work it out. Yeah, Don't yeah. worry. Or if Meg's not here, or we'll get another mic. We'll just keep adding. You know? <laughs> we have only, we've only got one slot left. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> so um, she said to me in this lecture just before the lecture began, um, "I'm really sorry to hear about Jeffrey," and I was like, "Oh, oh, yeah. oh and, dear." And I said. And then you spiralled from there. No, no, no. I said, don't worry, that was a hoax. Because a few weeks before, there was an internet celebrity death hoax about The news of my death has been greatly exaggerated. Yes. Jeffrey And I said, no, 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 that was fake. And she said, no. (laughs) Check Twitter. So... I was so a few weeks previous I was like oh that's horrible oh no it's fine and then before this lecture he act like weeks after he actually had died so what was he he was hang on he was 76 um but he it's not had, a bad inning he had been on um good. celebrity <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, even all your grandparents are at least ten. No, years. no, no. Only the dad's side, the ones that matter. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he'd been on Celebrity Pointless a few years before, and he didn't look well. I mean, he he actually couldn't speak very well. Um, but yeah, he he had died, and I spent that lecture not listening to whatever we were talking about postmodernism or some shit i don't know <laughs> <laughs> now would you say that rainbow is post or pre-modernism <laughs> shut, up. shut up i so one thing that's like a, a a staple of children's tv especially like younger kids tv that i rainbow does i don't like and i realize i don't like in watching these rainbow episodes is when they talk directly to you they're like, do you know where Jeffrey is? Or sorry, do you know where George is? They I do do a bit of that. Yeah. I don't I don't like that. The only show I remember like actually watching and being okay with them talking to me was Blue's Clues. Okay. I don't know in You know how a lot of um children shows for that age group have an educational element yeah in it's lost on me i know they do a story reading yeah and i know that they have the songs yeah but i i genuinely don't know what you learn from rainbow because it feels how like not to behave it no, feels actually, like from that age I, I did forget to mention this in the first year when david cook was the presenter and the bear was called rainbow they did go harder on the educational stuff in the sort of 15 year run where the most famous people yeah. were like part of it they dropped that and it was just character situations right. yeah because it's just it's just an it's just a sitcom now yeah about three annoying gay men four let's come on four, four annoying well, gay, but only one of them is a man one is a man in a bear costume and two are puppets yeah <laughs> because they are all of them are infuriating. I, I genuinely... And honest to God, if you saw one of them, you'd kill it with a shovel. I would say the only you time where, where I was like, oh, these are... I realised, because we hadn't talked about it previously at all, like no premise was given to me. Uh, the only time where I was like, oh, they're meant to be kids, is they were all the band episode, as in not the one that's barred the music... The sorry, pop group The episode, music yeah. band episode... Um, they were acting like kids. They were all singing on top of each other and being really shit. And I was like, oh, they're meant to be kids. Like, it took me that long to realise that they weren't just really irritatingly written general characters. Can we just hear the backing vocals just on their own? Are we the beat of your Oh, yes, well, we can do that rehearsing. But, but, JV, JV... We we haven't got those things you put over your heads. What did Jen call them? Cans. Well, what are cans, Jeffrey? Well, cans, George, they're, they're headphones that you put on your head so you can hear the music being played back. And also you can hear the sound man talking to you. 
Now look, we've got some cans over here. Oh, oh, oh yes, yes, put them on, Jeffrey, put them on. Oh, Zippy, I wanted them. <laughs> so did I. Well, I'm the best pop star singer, so I should have them. Oh, and Jeffrey, I'll need a microphone to sing into. Well, I've got one here, Zippy, on my little recorder. Yes, but I want to hold one like a proper pop star. Yeah. Will this do for you, Zippy? Oh, oh, oh yes, I can do it. Right, right. There you uh, go. Come on, everybody. One, two, three, four. It doesn't matter to me if you think you're going. Sorry, sorry, I gave you a wrong note there. Yes, right. One, two, three, four. It doesn't matter to me. Oh, shut up, Zippy. I need to make an adjustment to your mic. Oh, yes, yeah. God, God, God. Yeah, right, right. One, two, three, four. It doesn't matter to me. Oh, oh, it New cans, please. Oh, come on, we've got to get on, Zippy. Yes, all right, Jeffrey. Start recording. Right, recording now. The Rainbow Rock. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think we ought to hear that play back, don't you? Oh, yes, that will be good. Yes, very good. That will be right. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think Jeffrey does his best with three yeah. difficult. Um, give it up for developmentally dads. challenged children. <laughs> no, he does. He's a great dad, and I think that he's got a he, lot of patience. Yeah, he, I think he's cast brilliant actually because he's realistic and he he's entertaining and I don't know. He's just a likable yeah, father yeah. figure. Yeah, yes. Uh, I I tried to find it on YouTube today and I couldn't, but I've seen it before. He, him, and Bungle and the Roy Skelton version of. Um, Zippy and George are on a panel and there are like <laughs> students in the audience like asking questions and it's really funny. Do you still and have your DVD? I, I must do, yeah. Is it'll it, be is in it my, on the DVD? It'll be in my parents' oh. house. No, 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 it's not on the DVD. Oh, okay. um, they say, how did you all find each other? And Jeffrey says, oh, I went, I, <laughs> I went to the... I went to a shelter. <laughs> yeah, he, no, I think he said... Um, I think he, said he went to the home office or something. <laughs> so, so he like adopted these three immigrants. Yeah, like he actually said in front of all these students who were absolutely eating it up that he went. How old were they? Like, oh, they was like people in their twenties. Okay, like... so yeah, university. Yeah, students. yeah, yeah. Okay. Not school kids. No, because when you're an adult, you're a student. When you're a child, you're a pupil. I'm a huge fan because of the nostalgia element and the way that it feels kind of homemade like it feels badly made i just think it's interesting that zippy is the one that they've honed in on as the the money maker i know he's really iconic but i don't think he's the most important character i do think though that like in that sense bungles a bear which is fucking standard <laughs> um, but it, it's just yeah, yeah. it's just like Zippy's the face of Rainbow. Yeah, right. yeah, I, yeah. I don't know why that is. And then yeah. George is more complicated than Zippy. <laughs> he's more he's a complex. He's a complex. Man. <laughs> he's the only one that's like, right? I need a break from these fuckers. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the yeah. attic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's the sane one. <laughs> I'm a fisherman! <laughs> Zippy! Oh, oh, look! It's fallen over again. Oh, you're not a very good builder bungle, are you? It didn't fall over, Zippy. You pushed it over. Oh, I'm fed up and cross, and I'm not playing anymore! <laughs> I thought he was maybe an axolotl. I did not go all oh, hippo. I can see why you thought he was an axolotl because he's got very beautiful eyelashes. Very strange pink <laughs> and white eyelashes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what was I going to say? I like their um, their counter. Like, this is a weird thing I picked up and I was like, Ooh, the, what, I like the, I like the rainbow trimming on their everything's cloud-shaped like got, counter. Everything's got rainbow trimming and is if it's not trimmed in rainbow, then the main colour is light pink. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. quite like the colour palette. And I like the bedroom, how everything's like outlined, a bit like Paddington. Yeah. They, the doors are all outlined as well. And the episode where they wallpaper over a door, and I, I was oh, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was fully on side with how that could happen. But then, like, l looking at the door that I can see now, I'm like, what? Door handle. There's, <laughs> yeah. So, what Laura's referring to is there's an episode where they're redecorating a room and bungle wallpapers over the door yeah and the zippy phone rings. this dickhead <laughs> he thinks it's so he, he thinks funny. it's so funny <laughs> it's like, we're trapped in this room 
<laughs> which That's, you would. He's like, ah, Bungle, you all the papers ever at <laughs> Oh, 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 yeah, 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 that, that's the telephone, Jeff. Yeah, yes, thank you, Joy. I'll just pop downstairs and answer it. Yeah, oh. you, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. Who oh, has the door? Oh. The, the door? Who? Well, well, is it, is it, is it, is it uh, 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 over there? No, uh, no, it's over there. No, 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 wait a minute, it can't be. It's got to be somewhere over here. Yeah, can't we? <laughs> you know what? Jeffrey, Jeff, Bunker Bunch is papered over the door. <laughs> Oh, no. oh, Bungle Bungle, oh. you are silly. <laughs> oh, can you find it? Yeah, there it is, look, there. Ha, 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 It stopped. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, I suppose if it's really important, they'll phone back, won't they? <laughs> Yeah, you can see why I'm zippy at this point. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. What a cunt. <laughs> because Laura would wallpaper over a door hey! and I would roast her for it. I don't want to be... The thing is, off. Laura, you're, you're hands down one of the most intelligent people I know, but you, you do lack the common sense to not wallpaper <laughs> over a door. You are silly in that respect. I have the common sense to never fucking try and wallpaper myself. What? Not not like put wallpaper on me. I mean apply. She wouldn't. She would I wouldn't never install. Wallpaper. Oh, wallpaper. I see. The okay. thing is, you say that, but as previously mentioned, you are the dad yeah, of the yeah, fat. That's true. And if there was one of us m most likely to do a bit of wallpapering, yeah, it's you. Yeah, that, uh, fair enough. Because Laura's that sort of um... tried to fix the toilet. I no, don't no, do Laura. It on yeah, my phone. Laura will turn her hand to anything because she's convinced she can do anything. Laura once tried to fix our sink and dropped a wrench on her phone. Screen. On her brand new iPhone yeah. thirteen. No, 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 eleven. Ele pro. Sorry, eleven Pro. This was a couple of years ago. Yeah, now. yeah. And I went with her. I to oh. have this phone screen repaired and oh. she told the guy what she'd done and he went what <laughs> just started laughing yeah. and then he went oh. i dropped a wrench on it and he was like what because he went oh are you a bit of a mm, and then like flexed his arms at me as, and i was like yeah, yeah i try <laughs> well, oh. well clearly not because a hmm yeah yeah have, and i i remember a few months after that incident my mum and dad's tap was constantly dripping and my dad ended up getting a new tap for it and my granddad was giving him the tap and like the tools to do it and he said to my dad do you want a light like a, a flashlight like torch. a fl flashlight to help you and my dad said no i've got a torch on my phone and i said no, no. <laughs> take the light take the light the t the last two weeks elsie no one's been in the house with her i know and that's just hey, that is just damn worrying within the house i'm good so soon as they leave. Laura, was it not within the house that you dropped a wrench on your yeah, phone? Yeah, yeah. So we need to wrap this up. Um, <laughs> I love you two, but I'm trying to bring some sort of structure to this fucking episode. So this is the new normal. It's going to be the three of us now. This is series two, I'm calling it. We've had series, series two? Yeah. Wow. Yes, we made it. Did you think that we would? Y yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, because we're good at things. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah. Also, all I do is show up. So honestly, about a year ago, I started buying all this equipment and Meg and Laura were like, you don't tend to stick with things. Are you sure you should be sinking money into this? <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, Elsie, if it was just you, you would have quit by now. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. This is exactly why we all hold each other accountable. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So um, does anyone have any final comments about this show we're gonna air them i'm sorry for putting you through it this week i'm sorry you had to watch it and then i'm gonna do the socials this is my ultimate opinion of rainbow there are funny very funny clips of rainbow and that is enough Watching funny clips from Rainbow is enough. You don't need to put yourself through the agony of watching an entire episode of it. You would if you were a kid, I think. 
Or in your 50s and desperate for some nostalgia. Well, that's the thing, is that now we've given these opinions, are the mm. um, ancient people listening to this, mum and dad? Um, <laughs> your, your parents who are no. far, by far the youngest yeah. of all the parents. Um, <laughs> Meg was a mistake. What I'm saying is, <laughs> are people going to change their opinions on this because they've not thought about the things that we've said? But then again, everyone knows Bungle's an arsehole. So his name is Bungle. Yeah, he, yeah. he bungles. Uh, <laughs> Laura, final uh, thoughts, opinions, questions. I, I don't think that the all the episodes that are on YouTube should be framed as for kids. Uh, they're all they're all listed <laughs> as for kids. Even the band episode is put up there as for kids. No, yeah, because yeah, the comments are turned off because it's in YouTube for kids. Wow, and I don't think it should be. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, let us know if you enjoy um, Laura being part of this. Um, your opinions matter, and if you don't please, like please her, she'll don't. go away. Please, no. <laughs> no, you won't. You won't. If you don't like me, can I keep it to yourself? Can, can I explain to the people at home what actually happened? Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> me and Elsie started this podcast together, and when we started, Laura was a bit like, oh, I'm not really interested in the shows that you're talking about, this, that, the other. Has still, still to this day, hasn't listened to them all. But started listening to them, realised what a fun time me and Elsie have, and got FOMO. <laughs> I, was like, I, I, it, I definitely had FOMO earlier, but like I didn't have as much context before I watched, because I can hear you guys laughing when you make this show. Oh, oh, also, just for context, we're not squeezed into Elsie's room. We're, we're in a different room. Yeah, we're in the yeah room. Laura would definitely not be part of this if three of us had to sit on Elsie's bedroom floor. I just would no. not be happening. But yeah, so that, that I was Laura's like, like, oh, they do it in the living room now. Maybe I can be part of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I recorded that one with Elsie and then I listened to a bunch of them um, and I heard you guys laughing and I was like, let's see if I can join it. You can. Yeah. And you just got to get a little bit. You got to pick the comedy up a little bit. Got to be a little bit. Yeah, you got to be a bit quicker. Yeah. 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 You Quick two, on the uptake. You two are like the piffiest, funniest people I know. It's impossible to keep up with you. That's because me and Elsie have been doing this for a doing year. This for age. <laughs> no, no. It's because we've been friends for so long. I mean, almost a decade. We've got some sort of thing going on. Like we've got an understanding. Your yeah. boyfriend. I apologize to your boyfriend for not being as pithy as you guys. For not being able to return it. Was as this quick. on a night out yeah. or something? Yeah. When when he and I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't. Like he'll he'll say something funny to me, and I don't know how to return as as well or quickly. And he was like, it's impossible to keep up with those two, as in you guys. Oh, we are on Twitter. <laughs> at- we, as in Elsie's on Twitter. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> when I remember, at thoughts underscore underscore TV. Meg, where are we on Instagram? We are um, at thoughts TV, the, uh, at the zero. <laughs> Do the, you ever have a dream? The, the O, o is, is a zero. zero. <laughs> All right, Mrs. I've been listening to him. Fuck off. <laughs> Laura, what's the email address? Oh, that's the hard one. No, it's not. I don't know it. Elsie at gmail.com. Elsie loads at gmail. <laughs> no, well, well, my that's my personal email. Um, Which you're probably going to bleep. Yes, I am. <laughs> it's your name. It's, it's my name, no numbers. It's a very, <laughs> it's a very unique name. <laughs> um, we are at Thoughts TV 2002 at gmail.com. So Is that you when can... Toss TV started? It's when CBBS oh. started, yeah. You can leave us a review, um, <laughs> a five-star review, please, because it does help. It genuinely helps the algorithm, and that would be um, really nice. I want to start monetizing this, please. Yeah. <laughs> Are we w- w- possibly soon to have a YouTube channel? Yes. Oh, yeah, you're going to record some. Yeah, we want to start filming it, to be honest, because then we can get on the TikToks. So. I'll be honest, I'm glad you didn't record this episode because I'm convinced we, you can yeah. see the moisture in my top. Yeah, we're, we're all, all And down. I've got no bra on. <laughs> we're all in our pyjamas. None of us are wearing bras. <laughs> Laura, are you in a bra? No. No, none of us. No bra. No bra. <laughs> all right, we will see you in two weeks. Yeah. God willing. What are we doing next, Alice? I think we're going to do Trap next. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I agree. Let's this do is, Traps. Yeah, this... Laura has never seen it, but I know she's going to really enjoy it. This is becoming you two <laughs> introducing kid shows to me now, just because yeah. there's yeah, so many. So many yeah, yeah, no, if you didn't like Rainbow, you will actually enjoy Traps. Yeah, okay. So this is the new normal for Thoughts TV. I hope you're all enjoying it. And if you don't like Laura, 
tough. <laughs> We don't either. We've got <laughs> no. We love you. I just we can't afford you. the rent without her. <laughs> ah, we can't afford the rent with her. <laughs> All right. See you next see week, you guys. Next well, no, we won't see you next week. We'll see you in two weeks. See Mwah. you when we see you. Bye. Bye.